Praise the Lord. Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. I welcome everyone to a new episode of the Weekly Manna. In this Weekly Manna, I will be briefly speaking about Christian parenting or godly parenting. We live in a world where parenting is becoming a challenge and one of the hardest things that we can do. Christian parenting the goal of Christian parenting is not to control a child's behavior, but rather to mold them in the plan and the purpose of God. And this change should be coming right from the heart and the depth of their hearts itself. I've heard a story like this. There was three children. A Sunday school teacher asked these three children, starting from the first one, which Bible do you like? So the child said, I like the NIV version, New International Version. So the teacher asked why. He said the language is very simple to understand. The Sunday school teacher asked the second person, which Bible do you like? He said, I like the Good News Bible. So the Sunday school teacher went to ask why, the reason why he liked the Good News Bible. He said that there are pictures in between that explains things and he finds it interesting to read. The Good News Bible. So the Sunday school teacher went to the third child and asked, Which Bible do you like to read? And the child said, The version of the Bible I like to read is the Bible that my dad follows. And the teacher heard this answer from the child and asked him this question, Why did you say so? And the child replied and said, Whichever Bible my dad reads, I can see it truly reflected in his life and I won't read the same Bible that my dad reads see children of God and those who hear me today let me tell you children copy a lot of stuff from us you know they really watch the way we speak the way we deal with others the things that we say our attitudes our approaches our relationships everything is being picked up by the children we have at home. So it's so important that we have behaviors that is really acceptable by God. See, in Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6, it says, Train up a child in the way he should go. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. Parenting is not just a one-off event. It is a lifelong event. It is actually transforming the heart changing the heart, molding the child to be a better person who leads a life that's pleasing unto God. There was one, a dad and a son decided to go to fetch some mangoes. So the dad told the son, come with me, let's go into a certain field to get some mangoes of a tree. So the son had not been with his dad to that field. So they walked they finally climbed up a fence and jumped into a field where there were lots of trees. And the father told the son, you remain here with a sack at the bottom of the tree while I'm going to climb up this tree. As the child looked up, there were loads of mangoes on the tree. So the father went up the tree and he told the son, if you see anybody coming, give me a siren or give me a whistle and I'll quickly come down. So the, child, so the father went up the tree while the son stood with the sack down. The father started plucking the mangoes and throwing it down, giving it to the son who was filling up the sack. After a few minutes, the father asked, is there anybody coming? The son looked around and said, no, I can't see anybody coming. And the father continued plucking these mangoes. And the, in between while he was plucking, he used to ask the son, is there anybody coming? Is anybody watching? He said. And the son said, nobody. After a few minutes, say around half an hour, the father asked, is anybody watching? And the son replied, yes. The father of the tree began, began shivering. He was startled and he was wondering, who, who, who? He asked the son, who is watching? In a very soft voice, he asked the son. The bag you know, the mangoes he had in his hands, he quickly threw it down and he started making a move towards the son, asking him who's watching. 
The son replied and said, I am watching. See, the father was stealing. Now he thought it was okay in front of his son to steal mangoes from somebody else's property. And he was concerned about anybody else watching what he was doing. And he forgot the impact of his behavior on the child who was watching this, who was just stood there. Dear Christian parents who are listening to me today, we got to watch our words. We got to consider our actions. We got to think twice of the way we speak. Understand, all these have an impact upon our children. Godly parenting needs godly parents. Godly parenting would not come if parents are not godly. So let's reflect upon our own lives and understand are we godly parents so that we can train up our children just like what we read in the way he should go. Train up a child in the way he should go. Let's take this responsibility on us. Let's reflect upon our own lives and understand how are we training up our children. Are we living up a standard that is set by the word of God? That's very important. Thank you. May God bless us all.